What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield. You guys already know the deal. Hopping back onto that ranked up ladder for Series 10. And that might be my last time saying it on the channel. Because Series 11 will come out the day after this video goes live. So I believe that might be the last time we say it. But ladies and gentlemen, today we are rocking out with a Starmie team that also features Choice Scarf, Hydreigon, and Zacian. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you to everybody who supports me as a content creator. We are on the road to 10k subscribers, so cannot wait to hit that milestone with you guys. But this team right here was sent in by a fan, and this team was actually made by Mount Coronet BGC. If you guys do not know who that is, it is another YouTuber who makes Pokemon content. So I'm going to be leaving a link down in the description below to his channel. Definitely check it out and check out all of the cool teams that he makes. But getting started in that top left corner, the reason why I chose this team is Sarmi over here. I absolutely love Sarmi. One of my favorite Pokemons ever. One of my favorite water types ever, to be honest. In Gen 1, always loved it. Always had it on my team every single play that I had. But this Pokemon has Natural Cure as its ability, the Focus Sash as its item, and then we got Scald for Stab, Expanded Force for big stab damage, which will also pair with the Ndidi, which we will get to later. And then we got Alex, Switch, and Protect for two support moves. Right next to him is Hydreigon over here, and I feel like this Pokemon has not been getting a lot of love in Series 10. This Pokemon is really, really good, and I feel like we're going to get some wins with him, especially because he has the Choice Scarf as his item. Ability is going to be Levitate on this thing, obviously, and then we got Dark Pulse for Stab, Snarl for Special Attack Drop, Drake Meter for Huge Stab Damage, and Flamethrower for Coverage. And the reason I say Hydreigon is going to be good for this team is because he is Choice Scarf, and I feel like Choice Scarf is really good for underrated Pokemon, because they can come in the back end and just outspeed and do a decent amount of damage to pick up you guys' last kills in order to get those wins. But middle left, we have the one and only Zacian. This Pokemon is an absolute beast, definitely dominates Series 10, so round of applause for Zacian over here for being a champion in Series 10. <laughs> Interpret Sword is his ability, Rust is Sword as its item, and then we got that normal moveset form with Iron Head, Play Rough, Sacred Sword, and protect right next to him is really really boom over here love this guy right here big old monkey another round of applause over here for this pokemon dominating series 10 he's got the grassy surge ability the assault best as his item and then a fairly normal moveset for him with fake out grassy guy drum beating and knock off to take off items bottom left is going to be one and only indeedy this pokemon is great all around and it's really going to be able to pair well with the starmie due to expanded force on both of those psychic types we got the Psychic Surge on this Pokemon, the Psychic Seeds as its item, and then Expanding Force, Follow Me, Helping Hand, and Protect. So basically a support build with one heavy hitting attack move in case we need to use a move with that Pokemon. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Mimi Mimi Mim 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 Mims. That's what we're going to call it for today, okay? Just remember guys, Mimi Mimis Mim 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 Mims, okay? Cannot call it anything else. Disguise as his ability, Mental Herb as his item, and then we got Will O' Wisp for burns on physical attackers. Sword Stance to set up, so if we can get set up, we can go plus to attack and absolutely rip with this Pokemon. And then we got Play Rough for stab and Shadow Sneak for first turn priority. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, Rental Code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on to that ranked double ladder and look to get some wins with this Starmie and Choice Scarf Hydreigon team. <laughs> Hey guys, how you guys doing? <laughs> We're hopping into battle number one, going up against a Garatina team over here, alongside with Draco Fish, Whimsicott, Entei, Incineroar, and Amoongus as his final Pokemon. Yo, we're having fun today. I'm feeling real good. I'm feeling ready to record, trying to have some fun today. Hopefully, we can grab ourselves some wins. How should I lead this one? How should I go into it? Um, I think that he's probably going to lead the Whimsicott for Tailwind. I mean, I could go straight into a fake out, which could be decent here. And then maybe hmm, could go in this Ascian as a lead. Wouldn't be bad at all. I mean, he does have Intimidate, which could be a little scary. I could go in with a double in DD. Actually, yo, in DD and Sarmi could actually rip. They could actually rip with like a double expanded force. I'm kind of down with it. I'm kind of with it all day. I said we rip into it. Let's go in with them too. And then bring Zassi in the back end because he's an absolute beast. And then, you know, let's go Hydreigon. Just for the heck of it, man. Just because Hydreigon has a Choice Scarf and he has two Dragon Pokemon. So I'm really digging it. Let's block in this team get after it and try to grab ourselves a win in battle number one but guys since we're using star army let me know for question of the day down in the comment section down below what was your go-to team in generation one pokemon games and if you guys haven't really played generation one just give me your top three favorite from gen one but uh for me i used to go always usually go with charizard when i was younger now i usually go with like flash or venusaur but my go-to team was charizard and then going into uh star army on the squad then victory bell Always had to have Dragonite because Dragonite's a beast. And then I usually get like Jolteon and then like maybe Rhydon or uh, or Nidoking. Personally, I would rather have like Alkazam, Gengar, Machamp, 
and like go home. But like as a kid, I could never get them because you would have to trade to evolve them, which was a pain. It was such a pain. But he's gonna go in with Whimsicott and and what's it called? And Draco Fisher. So in that case, I'm just gonna protect and just go for an expanding force. I really do think that's the play because I think he's going to Tailwind. Go for a Fish's Friend into my Ndidi. And I think we just thrive after that. We just thrive after that. If that's the turn, then we're going to be we gonna be zooming here. But a lot of the times when I use Starmie, it used to always be with uh, with Meteor Beam with the power to him. So this one's a little bit different, but I kind of dig it. Kind of get after it. Fish's Friend, yo. Dude, look at that. Look at that beautiful play by me. And what's, it, what's he going to go for? He's going for a Moonblast. Oh, yeah, it's going after Starmie. So he doesn't set up the Tailwind. He does not set up the Tailwind. Expanded Force comes out here. Now I can just go for follow me and drop another Expanded Force if I want to. But yo, Starmie. Doing them dirty. Doing them dirty, Starmie. Getting after it. Getting after it. Yo, let's drop another Expanded Force. I can definitely see him going for a Tailwind now. Let's see his dude's play. What you want, fool? Follow me comes out here. He's got to go Tailwind in the Fisher's Trend, right? Probably. And I think indeed he still eats it up. Oh, yo. He doesn't Tailwind. He does not Tailwind. He's going for another Moonblast? Okay. Okay, I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. That's easy eats. He gets a special attack drop, which is all good. But more importantly, Expanding Force comes out for Sarmi, and he picks up two big KOs without the Whimsicott even setting up a Tailwind. Loving it. Yo, we loving that. We loving that all day. Get him out of my face. Yo, double kill for Sarmi. That's why we love you, Sarmi. Now, just imagine taking out these two Pokemon and then having a big old Zassian come out alongside with uh, a Choice Scarf Hydreigon. I actually hope he, he's forced to send out what's it called? I, Incineroar if he has it. Because then the Intimidate will not go on Zassian. It's going to be Entei and Garatina. This one's pretty much a rat. This one's pretty much a rat. We outspeed. We're going to be able to be super effective up against the Garatina. This one's pretty much a rat. Uh, could go into another follow me. Uh, could protect. I think I'm just going to Helping Hand and try to get off this, uh, this Expanding Force. Or I could Skull. I think Expanding Force would be a tad bit better. This does damage to both Pokemon. But we shall see. Hopefully he goes for an extreme speed in this terrain. That would be hilarious. Entei usually rock an extreme speed, which I really like having extreme speed on my Entei. But Gatteratina, do your worst. I think Sarmie might be able to outspeed, but we shall see. We shall see. We might lose both our Pokemon here, but I think we have this one, this match as like a wrap right now. In the beginning of the video, like I said, you know, this might be our last Series 10 video, which I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of happy about, you know, Series 10 is definitely getting dull. I want Dynamax back so bad. I think Dynamax would be awesome. But we do outspeed, which is lovely. And Expanded Force with Helping Hands can come out here. Starmie. Leave him alone, yo. Starmie. Tee it off, yo. Starmie, me, 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 me. <laughs> Starmie's just ripping here. He's going to go into a Dragon Call. I think that's going to bring us down, right? Yep, sorry, Starmie. It's all good. Starmie doing absolute work. Now you, now you, you made a mistake by killing our Sarmi. Now, now we're mad. Now we're not having it anymore. Let's hop into it with our big guns here. Dropping out Hydreigon. Getting out Zass. And it's GG's. It's GG's. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. And we know our speed's phenomenal. We know our plus one. I can just go into a play rough. They see you later to Garatina. And then I could just drop like a Draco Meteor if I want to. Into that Entei. And just say GG. Go ahead, drop a Draco Meteor. Let's just play it soon. Let's, uh, let's honestly play it safe. I could drop a Draco Meteor, but then I can miss my Draco Meteor. So I'd rather go into a Dark Pulse and just finish that off. So, Chewy Scarf. Let's just have that big old speed advantage. Take out Entei and then Garatina. Get out of my face because you know this play rough's killing me. Oh, are you kidding me, man? What you mean? What you mean? What you mean we miss? Yo, get out my face. Get out my face. Get out my face, dude. Get out of my face. Oh, my lord. Missing my play rough. There it is. Battle's canceled now. Get out of here. <laughs> okay. I see this guy using the Aerodactyl team here for battle number two. We also have Zacian just like us. Defiant Zapdos. And then he has the Dusclops to set up Trick Room and pair well with that Torkoal. And then final Pokemon is going to be that Serene over there. But I didn't even mention, guys. By the time this video uploads, it is going to be Halloween. So happy Halloween, you guys. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying your your holiday hopefully if you guys are going trick-or-treating we're just chilling on this beautiful sunday but uh who should i lead here i'm trying to think I'm trying to think he does have the aerodactyl i'm really not worried about the aerodactyl i'm really not worried about that bird either because we have no intimidate really pokemon i'm only worried about is Zacian or him setting up a trick room or him setting up a lovely little trick room and in that case we could go mimikyu we could go mimis mimi 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 mims like i said in the beginning that's his name 
And I could set up a sword stance at this, but I am gonna leave Mimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimim
That does not work out well for us, unless we had to protect on one of our Pokemons, but we do not. We do not, so I guess we'll go for a play rough. And if we can land this, oh no, we're choice to a Dark Pulse. Uh, that's fine, we'll go after that, but we're both dead. We know that for a fact. Your option's gonna come out here, it's gonna do us dirty. I know, we just go straight for a Fire Blast. Okay. Okay, I'm with it. Hopefully Serene misses, but it's good to know that he's not choice. So we'll actually fly Serene, yeah. That thing ain't missing, it's probably why it wins. So, one more turn left in Trick Room. I have two Pokemon with Protect in our, on our squad. Actually, no. Actually, we have Fake Out, but... Mm, no, we're dead. We're gonna lose. Unless Zassian can clutch up. We don't have Protect on Rillaboom, man. That's whack. I have to Protect the Zassian. And we are a Soul Fest. I, I, I can't Fake Out. I cannot Fake Out. That's rough. He's just gonna Fire Blade. Hopefully, he misses Fire Blade. That'd be a big play. So, I mean, knock off probably our player into, into you. Actually, into Torkoal. Go into Torkoal here. Fight. Knock off. Torkoal. No. I hit the wrong button again. <laughs> hit the wrong Pokemon. Torkoal. Let's knock you off, and we, it's a must protect his Ashen. An absolute must. So, protect coming out from Zacian. Hopefully, he misses Fire Blast or protects one of his Pokemon. Let's see his turn. Go, go. We misses the fire blast. Oh no, we fire blasted him. He's triple axle on the cross. Yes, indeed. Eat up all day, really. Eat up all day, really. Eat up all day. I don't think he's eating this one up. He does. Yo, let's go. Let's go. Okay. That's huge. Knockoff's going to be able to come out after his Torkoal. Oh, yeah. Slap it up on that. I probably should have slapped up onto the, uh, the screen over here. But sunlight fades and what's called fades as well. And the trick room is gone. And or what's it called? And we know our Pokemon out speed both for that mana field. So that's huge. That's huge for us. Okay, so mm, what do I do from here? Definitely knock off the item on the U, and I think we I don't think we take out Torkoal. I say Torkoal protects. I say Torkoal protects so we double down on the three. I'm a god, yo. I'm so good at this game. Why am I so good at this game? Why am I just so good at this game? I'm the best Pokemon player to ever play on this planet. On this planet Earth, big old behemoth blade comes through, and the read didn't even matter. It's not even going to show up on the screen, but we called him protecting. You guys know that. He doesn't know that. He thinks maybe we went after Torkoal, but hey, yo, we dumped on the screen there with behemoth blade, and now we're sitting in the driver's seat. We're sitting really good in this driver's seat. Uh, who's his final Pokemon? He's going to be... Oh. Oh, now we got a game. Now we got a game on our hands. Okay, uh, could protect Zacian, but I just don't see that being play. I'm going to knock off this thing. I mean, what does, what does this item do after the fact? Does it do anything after the fact? Like, if I knock it off, not do anything? Hmm. I don't even know what it does. I know his ability boosts attacks at one Pokemon, but what does the item do? It said that the hero uses sword to call its terrible disaster in ancient times. I think it just uh, it just changes his typing, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we could take off its item. We'll change form if we do that. Might as well give it a try, you know? Might as well give it a try. Let's go here and then into a Behemoth Blade to finish off. Actually, we gotta go with Sticker Sword. You finish off this Torkoal. You finish off this Torkoal. Let's see how this one plays out here. Here goes Sticker Sword. Yo, oh! No! 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 Not the free focus, Ash! Not the free focus, Ash! No shot! We lose this way. Not the free focus, Ash! Bruh. Bruh. Not the free focus, Ash! We'd lost to a free focus, Ash. It would have been a 1v1 full health, and let's see who would have been able to outspeed. Let's see who's fastest. My Zassy. If we would have won! If we would have won! Get out my face. Get out my face, dude. Get a crit. We would have won because we would have been outspeed, and we would have hit him there. He would have hit us back, and we would have just hit him one more time. No shot, bro. No shot we lose to a free focus, Ash. Come on, man. Story of my life, guys. Story of my life. Losing to free focus, Ash. That is rough. We're sitting at 1-1. One one. Should definitely be 2-0. Oh, but hey, we'll hop into the third and final battle and get you guys that winning record. 
I'm making you a promise right now. We're getting you guys this winning record to finish off Series 10. But, yo, really? We lost to another free focus, Ash. Been saying this is the story of my life, man. Series 10 has just been free focus ashes like crazy for my opposing team. It's just nuts how many they really get. But hey, we're hopping into the third and final battle. Like I said, promising you guys a victory here. So we're going to prevail on that promise. Going up against a Nick Crowsman team that's looking pretty strong. He also has the Incident War for Intimidate Drop and Fake Out, alongside with the Malwak for Trick Room that's going to pair well with that Dusk Ops if he does set up the Trick Room. He also has another Intimidate with the Landers and then another Fake Out with the Rillo Boom. So I think the NDD is a must lead here to take Terrain Control. And uh, this thing should be slower than Rillo Boom. Let me check the speed real quick. So I have a Rillo Boom here, 115 and 105. Ooh, ouch. Uh, I'm still going to lead it. Actually, mm, I don't know. I think I still lead it. I think I still lead it. Uh, let's do that. Actually, let's uh, let's keep that in the back end. Let's go in with our roll boom right off the rip. I could go in with Mimi. I could go in with Mimi. I definitely want to star me. I think I'm gonna lead Zassy and try to get a kill and maybe swap out after that. Indeedy, and then I think we're gonna go in with same first squad and go Hydreigon here. I am digging Hydreigon. Let's do it. Let's rip after this one. Let's try to grab ourselves that win. Well, let's not try. Let's get ourselves that win. Let's get ourselves some win, because we deserve the winning record, man. I make that awesome read on that Torkoal, knowing that dude's going to protect. I actually called his protect twice. One was in turn one, and the second was in uh, that like final turn. But let me know in the comment section down below if you think about if I would have knocked off the Dust Cop. If I would have knocked off the Dust Cops and then go into a, what's it called? Knock off the Dust Cops and a Shadow Sneak. Do you think that would have been able to KO it? But this guy is going to pop off into the trick room, which is a little tough news for me, and I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Alright, so we know he's going to we know he's gonna fake me out. We know that's a fact. We know he's going to fake me out and set up a trick room. And so I might just do a hard swap into a expanding force. I mean, it has no effect, but Scald? Be Scald? Or do we get after his Dust Cops? I mean, it's not really going to do much, so let's go into here. I could just protect you. Actually, let's swap you. Let's just swap you in the NDD. Pop these Psychic Seeds and kind of get more from there. Let's do that. Let's do that. Because we are minus one to Intimidate. We know he's going to fake out onto Zacian. And we know he is going to try to uh, pop this trick. For his lovely little Necrozma. For his lovely little Necrozma. We know this is coming. We know it. We know exactly what's going on. We know how people play. We're just better. We're just better. We're just better. We already know what he's going to do before he even does it. There's Fake Out. Get out of my face. And go ahead. Set up Trick Room. We're going to get off the Scald here. Nice, lovely little Scald. Chipping away some damage. Yo, good amount of damage. Yo, starting Rips, dude. Starting Rips, and there's the Trick Room. Like I said, man, we already know what he's doing. We already know what he's doing. All right. Um, so we're sitting here now. Sitting here. We could go for another Scald, but I see him actually swapping. So I might just double Expanding Force here. Might just double expanded force. Or he could actually go for a... You know, just in case he wants to stay in here and go for, say, like a Darkest Lariat. Something along those lines. But I, again, I see him parting shotting all day. I really do. Or hard swapping. Let's just see. I was going to double expanded force. He'll just go for the ally switch. I mean, that's that's fine. That is fine. That's the one thing I didn't see him coming. But there's Dark Slayer. Okay. There is the Dark Slayer, and I wish we were able to Scald, and you should be able to eat. Yes, sir. That is not a free Focus Ash. That is not a free Focus Ash. We're at 8 HP. I say below 5. 4, 3, 2, or 1, or 1, 2, and 3 really works. There's that, and here comes our Scald. Our lovely little Scald popping out here. And I could just go for a Follow Me and drop another Scald. That I think I'm going to do. And I think I don't think he ally switches again. I really don't see that happening. Let me just go for this Follow Me. Hopefully he doesn't go into a Nightshade. Which he probably will do if he's not gonna ally switch. I swear, if he ally switches again, I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> then he can just paint split, but right now we're just wasting out trick room slowly. And if I was him, I would let this instant order die out. But I'm fine if he actually goes for that. Because again, he's just wasting out trick room. So there's the paint split. Oh, yes, and the follow me really helps us out there. It's gonna give us HP. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So instant order is gonna go down here. That's lovely. Same thing with Indeedee. And uh, I think we just bring out Zacian at this point. He doesn't have Intimidate anymore. I mean, he definitely brings out a, a Pokemon that's rocking, uh... That's rocking really slow. Probably Necrozma. A great turn by us, yo. He goes into the pain split. 
They definitely seem going into yet another pain split. But I wish I could check how many turns are left in this, what's it called? In this trick room. But I'm going to actually go into Hydreigon because I think there's two turns left. He's going to rock out with Mal. Mawak. Mawak. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Alex, which I think is definitely going to come out here. He has, like I said, two more turns left in that trick room. They could protect this turn, but I just don't see there being a point. We go for an expanding force. Really want to. Expanding force could be pretty solid here. It is stab. We have the terrain. Uh, I think expanding force is gonna be play. This will be able to take out. Uh, it should be able to take out those cops, and that could snarl. But I think dark pulse is gonna be play. I think I read the ally switch, right? Actually, who's slower? Yeah, I read the ally switch. I'm gonna throw it on this slot because whichever side Starmie's gonna go first, there goes pain split. Okay, it don't really matter. Actually, no, now he's gonna. Mmm, that is tough. So we're gonna be able to take out the dust cops maybe here. Poltergeist, he's gonna fly through here. Mm, no. Starmie, eat this up. This is a tasty snack for you. All day. All day, Starmie. No, it's not. Our focus ash. <laughs> At first, I thought we got a free focus ash, but I was just like, wait, we have a focus ash. Band of Force comes out here. Dang it, dude. We should have just went into the. Uh, we should have just went into that slot with this Dark Pulse, but hey, that's fine by me. Should be able to take you out, right? Yep. Get him out my face. All right, so you're gone. I can easily protect this turn. Easily protect my Starmie here. And just waste out this Trick Room. Because now he just has Malwak and his final Pokemon, which is probably the Necrozma, right? Yes, sir. Necrozma's flying out here, and I am, again, just going to protect. And then just drop a... I could Snarl, but... No, no, we're, we're choice to a Dark Pulse. And who do I really want to go after here? We go after Necrozma. If we get off some big damage onto Necrozma, I'm going to be loving it. Protect coming out from the storms. Love it, Starmie, bro. Starmie's ripping. Flare Blitz coming through here. Uh, we should be able to eat up with Flare Blitz. All day. All day, Necrozma, go across. Don't you dare read my Protect. He takes some recoil damage, and he is going to go for a Sunsteel Strike, and he reads my Protect? Bro, what you mean? <laughs> what you mean? I mean, that's fine. Trick Room is going to end, and we are going to bring out our fast little Zassian in the back end. But should pretty much clean this battle up. Because Starmie's decently fast. Starmie can just go into Scald, rip up on you, and Zashin can just do his thing over onto Necrozma. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Let's rip it. Let's do it. Let's get her done. You get her done, baby. Carapid Sword. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, yeah. And then, like I said, you know, definitely a Scald into you. And then, uh, just a Sacred Sword, I guess, going across. They're rough. They're both not very effective, so there's really no point. The Sacred Sword is our best bet here. Especially plus one. I know Necrozma is rather bulky, especially with Prison Armor. Is Prison Armor just for the first hit? I think it might be. Prison Armor. Prism. Oh. Oh, we canceled. Did he turn that off? I think so. I'm going to definitely check and give you guys the final result. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you guys a winning record. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's go. That dude's connection actually canceled out on him or he actually turned off his switch. I don't really know. It wasn't really like a telltale sign that I was going to win, but I think I was going to win. I had Zassy and I was going to scald over onto his Malwak. That would have been easy KO onto the Malwak and then it would have pretty much came down to a 1v1 or a 1v2 onto Necrozma, which seems like 9 out of 10 or maybe like 9.9 .9 times out of 10. I was winning in that battle, but yo. Starmie was definitely tons of fun to play with today. Absolutely rocked out with it. Got a bunch of kills with it. The Hydreigon was cool too. I'm glad we got to show off all these Pokemon on team. We use them all once in every single battle, which is pretty cool. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.